Hey everybody, Tim here with today's review of Doctor Who story number 179, Love and Monsters. Holy fuck, this was awful. Like, this was god awful. Everything, the editing, which I know it was actually supposed, I am assuming, completely assuming here, it was meant to be awful. Like, it had to have been. Because there's no way they could do some of the film techniques, some of the, like, everything they did and then like being like this is gonna be great no they had to have known like oh this whole episode's a joke um i so somebody told me that like this was like a contest like a kid wrote a contest like create your own doctor who villain and this was the villain they created more power to the kid i'm not like okay that's fine a whole episode though come on like it's it was bad like from the opening scene where they're doing the scooby-doo chase i was like nope i am out like there is not enough liquor in the world to help me get through this uh we hear the voice of ursula who plays my girl moaning mortal in the harry potter movies she's great again with this one of the one of the cringeworthy scenes is he's like my name's elton not to be confused with and it actually shows Elton John, and I was just, why? Why would you even need to do that? Ugh. Um, they mention the Autons, they mention the Selvines, they mention Christmas. Then when we finally see the main villain, like, absorbing people, it's it's Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. Like, that's all it is. And, and a Absorbathon. Fuck off. He's from, like, the twin planet from corpses whatever the same planet as the slovene come from i'm not even gonna try to say it <clears throat> but it's club club it's awful that's what it is it's fucking awful and then like so when you finally like he everybody gets absorbed he melts the doctor's able to save ursula his little girlfriend and i swear to god it's a blowjob on a brick like that's it he when when we leave he's even holding the brick in his lap and i was like She's about to get fucked in the face. That's what's about to happen right now. Don't know where it's gonna go, cause she doesn't have like a stomach or anything like that. How is she even alive? But that's what's about to happen right now. So yeah, not impressed by this one. This one was really difficult to get through. So here's what you guys thought. Let me know and I'll see you guys next time for Fear Her.